we will create the fashion illustration and for that we place our illustration a JPEG under place. We go on the window image trace and we choose advanced which is important and also choose black and white logo. As next also very important fact always select ignore white this way we'll ignore the white parts automatically and click on expand this way can we convert them to path then we go under live paint make use the zoom tool choose the live paint pocket and use the swatch boxes. I would also use the skin colors provided in the library. And with the live paint bucket, you fill in the shapes with simple clicking on the shapes. The hand tool, you can move the illustration. Use again the live paint bucket. Again, the zoom tool. Fill in the shapes, use the hand tool to move the illustration around. You can also change the color at any time. Simply select another color from the swatch box. Enlarge it again for the details. Then you select the whole illustration and go under Object, Expand, click OK, use the Zoom tool and with the white arrow tool, the Direct Selection tool, you copy the skirt and the blouse, copy and paste in front. Then you choose under the libraries, you choose the patterns, decorative patterns, for example. Fill in the blouse, fill in the skirt. Then you go under the scale tool and you use transform patterns. Click on the box transform patterns for rotation and scale tool. Then you go and uh, go under Object, Edit Pattern to make changes to that existing pattern. Simple selecting them, change the colors, change the shapes, add on shapes. Once you're done, you click on Done. Edit Pattern again for the second pattern. Use the Zoom tool the white direct selection tool you click on one stroke and you go on the same color to select just the same stroke again automatically and once you're done same stroke color again Use the zoom tool again. Scale the pattern again a bit and select the box transform patterns. Now we're going to create some mesh with envelope distort make mesh. We make the patterns a little bit more 3D. Add on some roundness. With the direct selection tool, you can actually move the points and with the mesh tool, you can add on points if needed. And you see it looks more 3D, doesn't look that flat. Same with the second pattern, you click on it. Envelope distort, make with mesh. Move the points. 
if needed, add on some points with the mesh tool. Direct selection tool moves the points. With the mesh tool, you can also add on some gradients in the skin tone. Give a little bit of a 3D effect. Now you select the whole figure, you copy paste it, you delete the patterns, this is important, all the patterns. Select the whole figure, make it black. Go under Stylize, Drop Shadow. It's important use Illustrator effects and click OK. Then you go under Object. Expand Appearance. This way you can move the shadow away from the black body. Delete it. And you just move the shadow behind the figure. Make sure it's in the back. Arrange center back. Rotate it a bit. Scale it a bit. Go under Window Transparency and reduce the opacity accordingly. And that's it. You're done.